Hi there. What do you think of my manicure? I just love this red color. I've never worn red nail polish before and I don't know, it just makes me want to be like Sally Hansen uh, nail polish ad and put my hands all over my face. Ooh, red nails. But don't worry, this has not turned into a beauty blog. There's a reason why I'm wearing red nail polish today. I went out last night with a girlfriend and she had this lovely uh, red nail polish on. She has quite short, neat nails and her red nail polish was beautiful. And I looked at it and I said, gosh, your nails look really lovely. And she said, oh, you should try it. I love wearing red nail polish. And I said, oh, no, I could never do that. My nails are too short. My shape of my hands is not right. My nail beds are not even enough. Blah, 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 blah. Don't worry, it's still not a beauty blog and I'm going to explain why this matters to you in just a minute. So she's saying to me, of course you could wear red nail polish. And I thought, oh, why do I have this attitude about not wearing a coloured nail polish? And I thought back, I thought, oh yes, as a child I bit my fingernails, they were always scrubby and, and horrible. And even now, of course, you know, I've taken care of my hands and nails, you know, for all of my adult life. But I don't have long, glamorous fingernails. They don't. They get to the end. They break. So I made the assumption that red nail polish wasn't for me until my friend came along and challenged my assumptions. So today I thought, you know what I'm going to do? I am going to step outside of my comfort zone. I'm going to challenge my assumptions, not even challenge them. I'm going to meet my assumptions head on and I'm going to stare them down and I am going to paint my nails red. And that's what I did. So why is this so important? Well, really, it doesn't really matter what color my nails are. We both, we both know that's the truth. But what it is is a great example of one of the very simple, easy, little ways you can step outside of your comfort zone. Whenever I talk to people about stepping outside of your comfort zone, everybody immediately defaults to, oh my goodness, I'm going to have to jump out of an airplane. I'm going to have to do something that really scares me, skydiving you know, base jumping. Whenever I talk about stepping outside of your comfort zone or doing something that scares you or doing something that challenges you, people immediately think about something that physically terrifies them. Now, I'm all for meeting my challenges, stepping outside of my comfort zone, doing things that scare me, but I can promise you I'm never going base jumping and I am never going skydiving. It doesn't interest me, it doesn't appeal to me and I don't need to feel terrified to feel alive. Now, if you want to do those things and they scare you, but in a good way, absolutely go for it. But even if you do, they're not going to be the kind of thing that you do every day or every week or even every year. And yet stepping outside of your comfort zone is one of the best ways to challenge, stimulate and stretch your sense of self-belief and your self-confidence. So next time you think about doing something that scares you, don't think about the big things. Don't think about stepping outside of your comfort zone in a way that's terrifying or frightening to you. Just say to yourself, what assumptions have I been holding? What ideas have I had? What little thing could I do that would expose me to a different way of thinking? It might be as simple as taking a different route to work. Ordering a different lunch if you order the same lunch every day. Wearing heels when you normally wear flats. Wearing flats when you normally wear heels. Going out with somebody to a place that you wouldn't normally go to. Trying salsa dancing. All sorts of simple and easy to do things. Logistically easy, that is. Can still take you outside of your comfort zone. And then once you're outside of your comfort zone, you're able to see yourself in a fresh new light. You're able to say to yourself, hey, it wasn't so bad. I did it. And you're able just to have that lovely boost of knowing that you tried something new. So what I want you to do is let me know in the comments below what little thing you're going to do this week to step outside of your comfort zone. I can't wait to hear from you. I'm Dominique Bertolucci and you've been watching DBTV, the place to go to feel good about who you are and the life you live. If you've liked this video, please like it, 
and share it with your friends. If you're watching on YouTube, subscribe. And if you've seen this video on anywhere other than DominiqueBertolucci.com, then please come on over and sign up for email updates so you never miss out on another episode of DBTV. You'll also get insights, ideas, and updates and inspiration from me, the kinds of things that I only share in email. I'll be back again next week with a new episode of DBTV. And until then, take care and remember, it's not about having it all, it's about having the things that matter. Mm -hmm.